Greetings, Rangers fans. Welcome to our Jus News channel. Today we bring you the latest updates on Ibrox. But before we begin, we'd like to ask you for a big favor. Please leave a like on this video to help spread the news to even more people who share our support for Rangers. The Rangers have received positive news with the return of John Souter and Ridvan Yilmaz to the pitch. However, it was a bittersweet experience for the duo, who could not prevent the B team from succumbing to a 3-1 defeat against Old Firm in the city of Glasgow Cup. Both first-team players featured for the first 45 minutes of the game at the Rangers' training centre and were substituted off at half-time. The score remained goalless until the second half, where the young hoop surged ahead with three goals. Joey Dawson scored the first goal three minutes into the second half, and a stunning Mackenzie Cass effort made it 2-0 a few minutes later. Dawson fired in the third goal just after the hour mark, and Ross McCausland scored a consolation goal for Rangers. Although it was a disappointing defeat for the Jews, first-team coach Michael Beale would have been pleased to see Sauter and Yilmaz getting some game time. Sauter partnered with skipper Leon King as a centre-back, and Yilmaz played as a Turkish left-back. Sauter, who is 26 years old, made his first appearance since July, where he went off injured against Livingston on the opening day of the season. This game was the first time he managed to get some serious playing minutes under his belt, and he hopes to regain his position in the first team 11. Yilmaz, a 21-year-old Turkish left-back, has had a frustrating time since joining Rangers last summer. He had played in only seven first-team games before the World Cup break, and a hamstring injury has kept him out since then. Beal revealed last week that Yilmaz was only a bounce game away from returning to the first-team picture, so it may not be long before he's back in the squad. Regarding the Glasgow Cup, it's a third consecutive win for the Celtic B team, who had already beaten Clyde 1-0 and Queen's Park 2-0 before their derby win. Holders Rangers beat Partick Thistle 5-1 in January and still have Queen's Park and Clyde to face in the current phase. So, what did you think of the news about our team? Don't forget to leave a comment below with your opinion and to leave a like to help us grow even more. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, don't waste any more time and subscribe now so you don't miss any news about Rangers. See you next time.